cook today is Josh and he's making Ghanaian light light soup cooking. I might not post this video but let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to post you for that. So we're about to do a mukbang and Josh was a cook. I didn't cook that food today. But since we are all about food, um, we're going to do a mukbang. Another time, then we do it, okay? Hi guys! <laughs> this video will be rushed. Welcome to the mukbang for the our light soup and fufu. Mine is the light version and this is the heavy version. <laughs> With enough orishi rishi. What's orishi rishi? <laughs> All these meat them there is called orishi rishi. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Mr. Josh, my Ghanaian brother. Mm -hmm. I'm about to dig in. I'm more. I'm more seafood though. The pepper. <laughs> You remember in this in this food this I thought I would be able to talk but I think talking will be limited. I told you I just like pepper. This this soup is more like a oh this pepper soup. If you go to um Yoruba Yoruba land here, yeah, this is their soup. But what happens is they put um they call it amala and they will do with begiri. Mm -hmm. So they don't put only this um tomato soup. They add leafy, that thing is drawing like okra, but it's leaves that they have. And they've kind of blended also. They add it, then they add beans. Like um, hmm. bean soup. Bean soup? Yeah, Never so, heard of So this tastes soup. like um, amala. Hmm. And the fufu is light too. The amala is light. Because there is much water in it. Mm -hmm. The amala they use them, um, yam, the back of yam to make it. The back of yam. Yeah, they don't allow their yam to waste every single thing they use it. So when they peel out, mm, sorry. Right. So they wash it. Always. They wash it, dry it, and then grind it, and then. That's weird. Mm. They don't allow anything to waste. Yeah. They must be very stingy. Why would you call your food stingy? Why would you peel um, yam? Yeah, so they are not allowing anything to waste. Everything is useful. <laughs> Doesn't the, mean they are stingy. From the videos I've seen on the internet, mm. the, everyone is saying Yorubas are stingy. You've seen those videos where they make um, how God made Yoruba men, how God made Yoruba women. I've not seen yeah. it. <laughs> those ones, yeah. Is it those ones that you put water in the pot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those ones. If I just think <laughs> what you said just confirm it. <laughs> I don't want to agree with it. Before you remember, you Yoruba? Start. Yoruba? I like my Yoruba people. Huh. <laughs> I like them. Mm. It's spicy, right? Very spicy. Have you been to Nigeria before? No. No. Do you wish have do you, you want to have you been to Ghana before? No. <laughs> Do you want to go to Ghana? To Nigeria. Nigeria? Of course. Where yes, have you had a pass through? Oh, Lekki. Lagos, Abuja. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What did you hear about? Uh, um, Lagos. Mm. Very crowded. Yeah. And. Uh, you're not very smart, like you're not a sharp guy. Yeah, a sharp guy. <laughs> <laughs> they will dupe you. Hmm. That one is true. Yeah. <laughs> so you can make a lot of money there, and then that money will go just. We do the thing club and yeah. yeah. Like, the thing is, if you stay in Lagos for a few months or whenever, like you can't go back the same. <laughs> <laughs> Your life has changed. Total transformation. <laughs> Because you have to be smart. Mm -hmm. You have to use your senses when you're entering a car. 
<laughs> when you when you're going back home, you have to even after the stress of work, you can't just go into any car. You have to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of stories, honestly. That's why when when I was um, relocating, because I relocated from like after my youth service, I relocated to Abuja mm-hmm. instead of Lagos, because Abuja is not as crowded as Lagos. Yeah. Hmm. I don't understand. Lagos, Abuja is a capital. Yes. So why is Lagos much crowded? Here so um, Lagos was the capital before. Mm-hmm. Then they moved the capital from Lagos to Abuja. And you know, wherever there is water, most times, I think those places try, um, strive a lot because, mm-hmm. you know, people, goods, a lot of things coming through water. So Lagos is waterlogged while Abuja is landlocked. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Lagos has more business than, you yeah. know, oil, there's oil there. You know, most of the shipments that come in from abroad land in Lagos first and most of the companies mm. so Lagos is like the industrial area mm-hmm. it's Accra like that yeah so Accra is the busy place the busiest there's no other busy place like and there's Kumasi too mm-hmm. yeah, Kumasi is way cooler you know, yeah, okay. compared to Accra but it's not the capital yeah. Accra that's where this guy is from. Oh, he's from Accra? Yeah. <laughs> That's where he stays. Oh, okay. Then you stay in Kumasi. Yeah. No wonder you're saying it's cool, huh? <laughs> I mean, there's not so much traffic and, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like in Lagos and Abuja. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, when you came from Ghana, like, what was the major drastic change that you noticed? Yeah. Yeah. Something really drastic that you never. Well, since we have students, I'll say like basically it's about the how the education system is. Yeah. Not compared to what we have back, back home. Ghana. Yeah. Not only in Ghana, but in the whole of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was something very different, you know. Yeah, so back in there we don't have anything like coursework or you know just just prepare for exam and it was it's more of like um text 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 yeah yeah no analysis and all yeah yeah there's like yeah. critical evaluation and stuff you know, yeah. that was one thing that was really because even like all these softwares uh-huh, uh-huh. we never yeah. use them yeah. our econometrics we use pen and paper and <laughs> <laughs> and calculating from beginning to the end, <laughs> so it was really, really drastic. Yeah, and this um, turnitin thing. Yeah, turnitin. I think he, he happened. What happened is like he happened in our side. It happens for like higher degrees. Mm-hmm. They are more strict yeah. for higher degrees than lower degrees. So they make us pass on a lot of things that should have been very important. Mm-hmm. The building blocks. Yeah. And the food, food, food. <laughs> oh, the food is different. I remember when I, when I came when I came here for about uh, three, three or four days. I was hungry. I was living in a, a bed and breakfast. Yeah. For like four days. Yeah. And I remember throughout those four days, <laughs> I was only eating bread, <laughs> bread and juice. Yeah. <laughs> When I came, okay, I've, I've actually been coming to UK before, but I came with my mom. And when we come normally, we have someone that we stay with. So mm-hmm. the person already has, you know, food prepared and understands us. Mm-hmm. So it was different for us because now we had to find our food by ourselves. <laughs> so you go and buy food, and it's something that you've eaten before, but it doesn't have the same taste. Yeah. No pepper, no salt. <laughs> it's just. So I remember like the second or third day, my mom was like, I am hungry <laughs> <laughs> because you nothing was satisfying. <laughs> like you eat the food, it's so light and within a few minutes, it's it's gone. And then you know that this pepper that makes us drink water, yeah. like this spicy food, is not there. So we're so hungry. 
Mm. And they were, they were always having things like potatoes. You know, potatoes is yummy. Yeah, yeah. Potatoes don't stay long in the stomach. My so just go. Yeah. So, is there any other thing you want to add to this video? Because <laughs> I'm ending the video. Uh, no, not too much, not too much. Just. Yeah. This will place like. Guys, for real. I'm almost done. I didn't ask for much. It's the best, you know. This is really nice, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's lovely. I would have loved to see some greens in it. Too. Greens? Yeah, like I like my soups green. A oh. little bit. Oh. Just some hint of green in it. Well, but guys, this is this is really beautiful. At least like it's tasty and spicy, just the way I like it. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah, so um if we haven't tried Ghanaian light soup before, please go and try it out. This is if you've eaten them. <clears throat> Amalani, we do with begiri. <laughs> with what? Begiri. Begiri. <laughs> this. Nigerians have some names, eh? It's called. We have so many. We have so many dishes. Ah. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to add his Instagram handle so you can follow this handsome young guy and disturb yeah. his life. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>